Hello, I'm Ali Lowe of Lowtech Games. I assume you're here because you've got your own NES homebrew game and you want to publish it on Steam. You've searched the internet and you've not found an easy way to do this. I was in this position too, so I paid a friend to modify an emulator that auto boots the game and lets you change some configuration files, and that is called NES Tech. So if you head over to the link in the description, you'll end up on this HIO page. It might look slightly different when you get there. Uh, and then you want to click the download now button. It says recommended $15, but you can say no thanks. Okay, and then that brings you to the download. Then that'll start downloading. Then that'll give you this zip file. If you unzip it, it goes to this, uh, then go to app. And then this, these are the contents that you need to upload to Steam. These are all pretty configurable. I'll just go through them one by one. So number one is your game, the NES game. It needs to be called game.ness, all lowercase. So just replace this game with your game and rename it to game.ness. It should work. You can replace the icon file. It just needs to be a 32 by 32 pixel image. Yeah, so I've got one here. And then what I do is just go to some online converter, make a PNG, drag it on here. It takes a little while, but then you can click on this. There's loads of different converters. Uh, this is just the first one on Google. And then there you've got your icon file. That's how I ended up making that. Nestgame.exe, you can rename this to whatever you want. This will be the actual executable that runs your game. And all it does is kind of load these things around it into an emulator. Right, the next thing is the splash screen. So if we open that, the default is Nest Tech logo. You can replace this with whatever image you want. The only caveat at the moment is that it has to be this specific size, which is the same resolution as the Nest. Uh, this might get changed in the future, but for now, that's how it goes. Yeah, and the last one is the configuration file. So you can open up the configuration file in something like Notepad++. And there's a, a few things. All the stuff down here is just controller mapping. And the things you want to, to know are up here. So this is the thing that will appear in the title bar of your game. Separate user configs. Changing this from true to false changes whether it saves in your app data folder or not, I think. Start full screen. True or false, pretty self-explanatory. Show splash screen, true or false. So if you've got this set to false, it won't show that splash screen. And then this is the duration of the splash screen. That's all the info in there. There's some weirdness. There's some weirdness with it being saved to the app data folder. And this basically gets dumped in the app data folder and then if it exists, it loads that instead. Okay, so it appears there's some problems with that running Windows 7 with a classic skin on. Yeah, but if you change over to the Aero theme, it works fine, and Windows 10, it's fine as well. So yeah, if you run the game, it'll spit out the save file. So if your game does have save data, it'll load that the next time you try to play. If you want to change the controller mapping, if you're not happy with the way that I've set it up, you can open it up and then press Escape when the game starts. You can also toggle full screen and stuff in here. You can delete the save file, and this supports two players, and you can remap. So yeah, if you go in here and you change any of these settings uh, and then do finish mapping and then exit game, and then go back to this file and you realize that nothing has changed, that's because that gets dumped in app data. So to get there, the path is you go to C, you go to users, you go to your username, uh, and then you type in app data because that'll be a hidden folder. Then you go to local and then you look for the name of your game. So mine's is Nest Game, so I'd click in here, and then there should be the user.json file here. So any changes you make, you need to overwrite this file here with this one. So you would copy this one's name, then delete it, then copy this over here, and replace the name. Now any changes you made should show up. That works for changing the splash and the, the screen and everything else like that. I'd recommend keeping this user config as false so that you don't need to do this app local thing. But the save file is going to get moved into here at some point in the future so that separate users on the computer can have different save files. So to upload this, you just select all these files and then send it to a zip and then you upload it to Steam. And I'll show you that now. Then you need to set up your app on Steam. That bit's reasonably self-explanatory. You pay your fee and then there's a big list of 
check things down this side that you need to fill in. Uh, then when you're actually getting to upload the game, you go to Technical Tools, and here you go to Builds, and then you can upload your build here. You used to have to use Command Line or some really ugly GUI, but now they just let you upload a zip file. So you just click here, then you would choose your, your zip file, standard, and then you would do Upload. So you upload it, then it'll pop up a box where it asks you to name it, and there's a box that says default, and you do that and then you press OK. And then you go back to builds, and then it should show up in this list. And the one that is active is the one that says default on it. Okay, so you would want to change it to default on the one that you want to push live. Then you go back to your dashboard game thing, and then there should be a big panel up here that says release, submit for review. You press that and then in a few days it'll get back to you and say if there's any problems. So I hope this has helped guys. I hope this lets you get your game up on Steam. If you have any trouble, send me a message on itch and I'll try to see if I can help. And if you do use this to publish your game, please consider leaving a donation on itch. Because this wasn't free to make. I want to share it with everyone just so that the community can do this without having to jump through a lot of hoops. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. Leave comments down below. I hope this helped. Bye.